All right, everybody. Welcome back to another beautiful day in Florida. Actually, it's getting kind of cold and it's raining like crazy. Yeah, what they said. It's actually we're on the front side of a kind of bit of a mess here in the weather, but we've gotten our block and our heads back from Soccer Mom. A lot of you guys have been asking if I was able to save it after the welding job. Well, we're gonna show you how everything looks, what we're planning for Soccer Mom, and what we've got to do next to get it back to the track and back racing again. Yeah, so stay tuned. I'll show you what we're talking about. Well, while you're here on the channel, please subscribe. Give us a comment down at the bottom, give us a like. I'll try and get down there in the comments and respond to you one way or the other. And also, if you want some KSR merch, winwithksr.com, all kinds of stuff on there from hats to hoodies, to stickers, to beanies, all kinds of stuff. But on to today's video, there's our block for Soccer Mom. It's not so bad, eh? She looks pretty good. So if you get up real close, and I know that if I get real close sometimes with the camera, it doesn't work great. But right in there, there's just a little teeny tiny thing you can see on the edge of the sleeve. And on the camera, maybe it just looks like a little spot. But other than that, you can kind of see where some of the machining marks ended up. I ended up just welding in the water passage there because the gasket only has a like an eighth inch hole through this. So we'll drill an eighth inch hole that lines up with the gasket. Kind of reshape this one just a little bit. But when I hammered on this and heated up, it actually did mess with the sleeve dimensions right through here. So if you think of this as being, you know, perfectly round, when I was hammering and beating and welding, basically it took this and almost made it a little bit flatter right through here for the top quarter inch of the bore, it changed this dimension right on the lip about four thousandths. So that's, for those of you that don't know, that's actually kind of a hard thing to fix. I was a little bit worried about it, not gonna lie. Still maybe a little bit worried about it because what has happened now is this cylinder is slightly larger bore than the rest of them. So we went ahead and had him do a quickie hone in all of the other cylinders just so everything was nice and fresh get a good seal on the rings again which the rings weren't really having a problem sealing but i like to try and keep everything balanced as best as i can but it took him a little bit of extra honing here to get it back round and this cylinder ended up like one thousandth of an inch or one and a half thousandths larger and these ended up about three quarters to one thousandth larger, you know, because of he was able to just on these cylinders, you just run the hone in real quick. And I'm not talking like the, you know, the dingleberry hone that you can buy from the parts store, like a really nice machine shop hone, which the only reason why the hone trick worked is because he had a really nice hone. If we had used like the parts store hone in the thing, it would have just taken metal out everywhere instead of kind of focusing on just where it was smaller. So he said it was some kind of trick diamond hone or something. But anyway, the block is ready to go. We had both heads decked to match this cylinder head. Oh, there I am. I'm looking at the wrong end of the cylinder head. So there's our head. And I still have just a little bit of work. You can see where the weld was on the edge of the combustion chamber. So I'm going to go in and reshape that just a little bit so that it matches the other chambers. So actually what I'll do is I'll trace this with a, a piece of paper or a cutout or something, and then I'll come back and draw that out over here. Port the cylinder back out, let's call it. And put her all, get her, and get this back to where it kind of matches the other cylinders. I'm gonna go through and kind of take some of the sharp edges off while we're in here working, just cause that's a good thing to do. But you can see, we got a cylinder head surface again. Same thing happened here with the cooling passage. So we'll drill an eighth inch hole back through there to line up with the cooling passages. 
up in the cylinder head and also line up with the gasket. But that should leave us with a lot more meat here because this is how it was originally and we know the corners run hotter in an LS. So this is the area of the head that only has the one bolt supporting it. A lot easier to, if you think of a piece of metal, it's a lot easier to fold something up at a corner than it is to say fold it across the entire width of the head in the middle. Just weird random way to theorize it and talk about it and it makes sense in my head. Maybe it makes sense for you too. So pretty happy with how all that turned out. Wheels over there hiding, didn't get another way. So the block is in Will's truck because Will's gonna take it back and put it together at his house. Right, Will? You're gonna make an attempt. Make an attempt to. Do we want to talk about what we're gonna do with the car? Yeah. Talk about what we're gonna do. Try to go fast. Yeah, we're gonna try to go fast. Quarter mile fast. Yeah. So back with the 410 gear in the car, running the car to the eighth mile with all of the weight out of it, because we added a lot of weight for sick week. We've been as fast as 458. And that was stepping off the gas well before the quarter mile because it was already at 86, 700 RPM. Well, now we've got a gear in the car that should get it through the quarter, and obviously it did at sick week. So the goal is to go beat that time, beat that 758, and try to go quite a bit faster. We're gonna take all the weight back out of the car, take the street system out for just local racing type stuff, work on our alcohol tuning a little bit more, make sure our injectors are happy, I'll make be sure to check the duty cycle more in the system. Yeah, gonna do that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to go pretty low sevens with this thing. Now, why didn't we go that fast at sick week? It's endurance, right? Yeah, you can't can't lean it on it that hard and make it go 900 miles at the same time. Yeah. So especially with it being our first drag and drive event, the first goal was to make it through the week, which we did. We got our four passes in. Which luckily we missed today because we might have heard it might one day. <laughs> we might have heard it one day sooner and been in trouble. But uh, yeah, so we got our four passes in. And then like you saw in the video, the last pass, we took a risk. And, and now we've got a block that is out of the car again. But yeah, we're going to take the weight back out, which I think will probably take 200 pounds back out of the car. Yeah. Fuel system, all the bolt on weight. So back when Will used to run class racing with his third gen Camaro, we had all sorts of weight bars to make sure we met the weight for the class. That's part of class racing. They put weight rules, minimum weight. yeah, minimum weight rules on certain combinations and you have to meet that rule or you your pass gets rejected, kicked out, not counted. So the idea is you build a car that's lighter so then you can balance the car front to rear and still not be over the weight if a car ends up heavy or right on the minimum weight but the weight balance is too far to the back of the car you're going to have a wheelie machine that is not consistent but if you can move weight around Get your percentages where you want. then you can make the car go fast and still be at the minimum weight but we don't have minimum weights now that we're just testing again and going to have fun and showing you guys our times so the first goal 740s and then we're going to try to go faster See how fast those little 5.3 will go? I mean, we kind of <laughs> want to go sixes with it. Like it's, Ooh, it's going to be leaning on it. We'd have to, to we might have another block on the table if we get to sixes oh, again. Yeah. But that is part of this. And especially with this being a stock block deal, like that's kind of the risk that we kind of take with doing this. Maybe. With a 461 eighth mile, I mean, that's there. Yeah, the big thing will be you know, that was with the 410 rear gear so it's trying to do it with the 350 and the converter package that you got to do with the 350 gear yep. so it's possible it's just going to take some yeah so what did we go on sick week like a i think we went a 508 still 50s 50s was our best we never okay went a four. yeah so obviously we lost half a second on sick week with the weight and with the uh the gear change but the car ran pretty well to 60 foot we just never put the boost to it that we had been running previously. Again, still learning alcohol and trying to make it last. 
through yep. the week. And, I mean, we literally drove it, what, 10 miles before we decided to try to drive it 900? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty good we week. It. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, so there's a list right now on the sick week deal. And they're doing a list every year that's like the, the fastest averages. And we're number 13 right now because we finished 13th at sick week. And comparing that to 2021, if you added 21 and 22 together, we're still in like the top 20 because there haven't been very many different people that have had a faster average than what they had at sick week. So I think we bumped down like four or five spots when you combine the two years. But I don't know, it's pretty exciting for the last couple of years as far as we're in the top 20 of some of the fastest drag and drive cars on our first attempt with a car that wasn't really designed to do drag and drive events. No, and we didn't, there was certainly a lot of things that we could do better. Yeah. We just ran out of time. Yeah. Yeah, we changed the transmission cooler at the last second. Did our radiator ducting here during the week. Yeah, just a but, lot. But we survived yeah. and we got third. So yeah, that was cool. Was very, so yeah. A lot of fun. Definitely would look forward to doing it again. For sure. Yep, so we'll definitely get a bigger radiator in the car next year. And we're gonna get a different fan that's gonna work on the 16 volts. Okay, nah, <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. We gotta figure this out. I can't get beat. So There's a fan. A full of fans? No. <laughs> Steve said the fans work. The ones that he's got. That's the same one that Devin uses oh, on Delta, his car. Oh, so the Delta, Delta Pag. Yeah. Delta Pag, Delta Pag, yeah, Pog. Pag. Whatever they are. Yeah, I was actually reading about those. They sound like a pretty, pretty killer fan. They're supposed to be rowdy. And then we'll put a little bit bigger radiator in it so it cools more efficiently. But yeah, that's going to uh, wrap up this video. We'll get Soccer Mom back going again, bring you guys back to the track with us. We were going to try and get to the NMCA race for the sick week shootout. Will's got to work. Kimber's got to work. I've got my kids. And also, the uh, I can't get a head gasket. Had the, we're going to have to order a custom thickness MLS head gasket because of the cut on the block plus the cut on the head to keep all of our numbers happy everywhere else because the... The block took a six or seven thousandths cut, I think he was saying, to clean the deck of the block up. So now the piston is gonna be hanging out of the hole, seven, eight thousandths. So we can't run the same thickness head gasket we were running because at really high RPM, the piston would be kissing the cylinder head a little bit. That's not the kind of kissing we want. Hmm. So, <laughs> metal on metal kissing, bad, real bad. Cool. What? That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. All right, everybody. Head north towards Story Parton Road. Parts because we wanted to see if we could help our cooling system out a little bit more until we get our ducts built. We're going to do some duct work on the front radiator because I taped it up when we had the cooling fan fail and the cooling system worked really good for a little while well now all the tape has come loose and it's not working very good again so we're going to see if this stuff will help but good news if we blow a head gasket we just gotta buy this stuff lifetime warranty what have we we've been doing it wrong the whole time okay